Hello everyone and welcome to another poster design tutorial. So today we're going to be designing this poster here. It's very typography heavy and you know that we have some like really nice gradients to create this like 3D effect. So yeah, it's going to be really fun. So let's jump into Illustrator. So first thing in Illustrator, let's just set up our document. I'm going to use 1700 by 2400 RGB and vertical orientation and just press create. Cool. So let's just start. So first thing, let's just write the word you're going to use, which is repeat. And let's just go to... Actually, before I, uh, I need to show you where I got this font from, it's from the font.com. The font is Aldo de Apache, which is a really cool font. It's a really good character from a good, really good film, uh, Inglourious Bastards. If you never watched the film, please stop right now. Go watch it. It's really good. And OK, back to the tutorial. Repeat is here. Let's just go. Let's go to effects. 3D materials, 3D classic, rotate. Let's just change the perspective to isometric right. And let's just press OK. Let's make a new copy. Let's go to our properties here, or you can just go to window and then find your properties. And let's click on 3D rotate here. Let's just change it to top. And here the tricky part is like, for some reason, the top goes to the other direction. And we actually need to select these edges here and slowly rotate so you can actually see in the right position there. Be sure to do as perfect as you can. Great, and now let's just align these letters here, something like this. Let's select them both, go to Object, and then Expand Appearance. Let's just uh, zoom in really quick, so we can actually select these uh, clipping masks here to release the fonts from that, that clipping mask. Perfect. Let's zoom out again, just to have the screen centered. Let's just uh, apply some colors now. So let's select our font here. Let's go to our gradient tool here and click on the gradient uh, fill here. Let's just change to something more like interesting. Maybe just edit a gradient right now, make it like full black. So 100% black, perfect. Let's just use it, make it Nicely, I think uh, maybe the white needs to be a little bit uh, grayish instead of full white, so we can actually not, we can actually not don't, don't lose like too much definition. And maybe just use the same gradient here. Let's just select these fonts, and with the eye drop tool, get the the new gradient. Let's use a gradient tool here again, just to make the like this gradient a little bit better. Perfect. Let's do the same thing here. And let's make it like this. So the lighter version, the light part, will be facing the darkest part of this one. Something like this. Perfect. It already looks like, like if you just leave this again, just on a white background, it looks really nice actually. But who knows, we're going to do something else. Let's just scale this a little bit, so actually almost fill the screen with, with it. I'm just holding Alt and Shift to make it proportional scale. Maybe a little bit smaller. We want to make more copies there. Let's just select it. And then holding Alt, let's just drag one like this. And holding Alt again, just drag another copy here. And another one for the top. And another one here. It's looking really cool already. Let's just select them and then go to uh, edit and edit, no, object and then group them. So actually we can move all together. Let's go back to our tools here, get the rectangle tool. Let's make a nice mask. So we can actually mask that really quick. Just zoom in again. Sorry, I was just doing some zoom ins and outs for no reason. And I know how annoying that can be when you're actually watching a tutorial. Let's just select this all with the, the, the solid above and the letters behind. And let's go to make clipping mask. Right click and then make clipping mask. Perfect. This is pretty much all of what the poster consists on. But I actually added a little bit of more detail, as you can see here, uh, adding like these repeated like words around it, which is really cool. It's like a nice framing around, the, uh, around the, those letters as well. And we're going to do that now. Let's just create a new layer. Let's lock this one. Create a new layer. Make a new solid. Just like this. Although we don't need the fill. 
just a stroke and then let's go to our text tool here and then we're going to use a, a right click to select other options i'm going to use the text on path tool just click over it and then just write repeat and that's full stop i'm actually going to change the font to a different font which is this one maybe i will use it in actually italic i'm going to make that 10, not 10, a little bit bigger, so it's actually visible. There, let's just repeat. Great. And actually, with the text selected, let's click twice. So I can actually change the type on path options here. Instead of align to baseline, let's align it to a center. And let's preview it so it goes inside instead of like above. Or you can actually select which you want baseline, which is beyond a bite. You will use the line as a base. Then you can use the center goes a little bit up, a center goes inside, center goes in the center of the line, and then baseline, which was the first one. So let's use a center and leave the spacing in auto. Let's just press OK. Great. Oops. Let's just leave this and let's just select the text again and just uh, copy this and then just paste it, copy again, paste it, copy everything again, paste it. And again, paste it, paste it, paste it until it looks nice. <laughs> Just like this. And actually, there is some like there is at least this little plus here it means we actually have too much, too many words here, and we just need to remove a few. So let's just repeat, just delete a few of them. Still have some, but actually going to leave them for this tutorial, so I don't spend too much time doing that. And let's do again another box here and just use it as a stroke. Increase the stroke size to maybe 80 will be all right, yeah. And click on stroke here and let's use the stroke inside. So it's actually not like in the center. And let's just move it backwards. Select our font here, make it white. And yeah. Pretty much it actually, we actually already finished the tutorial, let's just maybe scale this a little bit. I definitely need to to solve this because it's like too many too, too many repetitions there. And let's just, I'm going to click on the corners here, so actually, actually like uh, make the corners a bit rounded. It makes this really nice effect as well. So yeah, this is pretty much it. I, I hope it wasn't too long and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's a really cool effect, I really like to play with topography and gradients. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Please again subscribe to this channel, like this video, share with your friends. And yeah, let's keep going and I hope I see you in my next one. Cheers, bye bye.